this is Jane. I'm here in Mordona, about to take on the level 80 Red Mage quest. Let's speak to Arya. Succession of Steel. Arya seems excited to see you. Bryce, I was about to go looking for you. I've had a letter from Zrun Tia, and he's asked me to pass on a message. <clears throat> Arya, I hope this missive finds you well. Should you come across Bryce and Revenant's toll, pray send him to me in the Alamegan Quarter. I have need of his help. What could be happening in Alamegal, I wonder? Well, I suppose there's one way to one sure way to find out. Let's go. Alright. So off to the locks. Ah, how wonderful to see my two erstwhile students, and not a moment too soon. We are glad to see you too, Zerun, though I gather the situation is not a happy one? You gather correctly. You'll recall the brotherhood I was once a part of, the Crimson Duelists? Well, it seems the keepsakes left behind by my deceased colleagues have run afoul of some enterprising grave robbers. When the duelists met their end some two decades past, I was too deeply engaged in my own battles to give them the burial they deserved. And so I did what many before, my, before me have done. I collected the blades of the dead and interred them within the tomb of the errant sword. Hmm. With Alamigo much settled since the initial reclamation of the city, I judged it time to pay respects to my fallen comrades. That is when I discovered the tomb in disarray and one of the duelist swords missing. It would seem such petty acts of larceny have become common of late, and although the resistance speaks of taking steps, the army has its hands full overseeing the restoration efforts. But it's said that unrest and dissent have largely disappeared under General Aldine's command. Why this sudden rash of law breaking? Ah. Well, now that the Imperials have been beaten back, those who once suckled from the Empire's teeth are forced to look elsewhere for the wealth to which they are accustomed. For some, this means taking up a life of banditry. And for the lowest amongst them, it means ransacking the resting places of their countrymen, a crime I do not intend to leave unpunished. As things stand, however, I have yet to deliver said judgment. This particular gang is uncommonly swift of foot, and I must temper my attacks lest I slay them ere learning the location of their stashed loot. Thus do I turn to you for assistance. Capturing these thieves alive will be far easier with an extra pair of hands. If it's extra hands you need, then count me in. Without red magics at your beck and call? Nay, tis too dangerous for one still relearning her art. I've been practicing against the creatures of Mordona ever since we parted ways. My magics may not be what they once were, but I can cast the initiate spells well enough, I promise. The monsters in Mordona are not to be trifled with. That was a risky path to take at this stage of your training. 
I took risks, yes, but not foolhardy ones. If I don't push myself to my limits, then I'll never catch up to you or Bryce. I wager you'll not take no for an answer. <sighs> Very well, but you do not leave my side, understand? Yes, thank you, Jeroen. You won't regret this. The three of us, then. Blood Howe is where these grave robbers ply their unsavory trade, and the edge of the graveyard is where we shall meet. Salty bitch is still taking up resonance, I see. to simply snatch up these grave robbers, but they have proven an infuriatingly slippy, slippery foe, a foe who now knows my face. Which is why you, Bryce, must play the role of deceiver. Search the graveyard until you find the thieves in question, then convince them it is in their best interest to slink over here to the east. Once the scoundrels are too close to escape, Arya and I will spring our trap. Alright, let's see, uh, okay, so they're nearby. This is gonna play out. You looking for trouble, mate? How big a fool do you have to be to just wander up to a gang like this? This lot cleaned anyway, so maybe we'll take that advice. Thanks for the hint, friend. Oh, and not that we doubt your word or anything, but you'd best come with us. Call it a show of good faith among thieves. We'll be waiting just up ahead. I get so confused. I 
always get confused. I don't know why. Let's see. Where? Ah, here we go. Don't you worry about our two mates. They went ahead to the east. Just like you suggested in us. Well, someone's got to eliminate the competition. Oh, really? You think so, huh? this up quite nicely. <laughs> nicely done, Bryce. We caught these two completely off guard. And I must say, Arya, you exceeded my expectations. You have made impressive progress in such a short length of time. Yes, I knew those lessons at the Mage Kills were worth it, even if it was painful to begin at the beginning again. Oh ho! I see you've been cracking open as many books as you have monster skulls. Your dedication to the fundamentals has certainly paid off. Now, I counted four brigades the last time I was here. Knowing what I do of such villains, I assume the other two sought to waylay you? And yet, you stand with scarce a hair out of place. All jesting aside, I suspect your skills have surpassed my own. What trials you must have endured to forge such strength. Let's see... Let's try this one. I fought on another star against heroes turned villain. Another star? Even your adventures play out on a stage beyond my wildest imaginings. And this talk of Sin Eaters, was it? It sounds to me as if your battles took place on the edge of suffering itself, where the heart and still of even the mightiest Red Mage will be tested. <clears throat> but whilst it is endlessly gratifying to hear the exploits of one's former student, I suppose we should return to the matter at hand. Once we have subdued these ruffians here, a few threats gleaned us the location of their ill-gotten gains, all, bur all buried in a box in the royal hunting grounds, or so they claim. I believe another division of labor is in order. Arya, pray hand our captives over to the resistance, then wait for us at the Tomb of the Errant Sword. Bryce, you and I have some digging to do. Hunting grounds, huh? I used to hate that place. Oh god, it's way over there. Oh, I don't feel like going through this whole thing. I'll just teleport over here and fly up. this way. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, one day I will get directions straight. One day. I don't know when, but one day.
Where is he? Oh, he's right below me. <laughs> I was like, I thought I saw him. Not sure. Here we go. Do you feel that? The ground. It's soft. Certainly not as packed down as elsewhere. I think we found their cache. to have found this before they hauled it off to the black market. I cracked the lid to check the contents, and the box is indeed filled with stolen goods, including one rather familiar sword. Come, we should return these articles to the tomb. With any luck, Arya will have arrived already. I am going to have to go in and go through it. Oh my god. Or can I just fly over it? Maybe I can just fly over it. Hopefully. Because I really don't want to go in there. <laughs> Where am I trying to go? I'm trying to go this way. this oh wow okay hmm I guess I never paid attention to the name of it right let us return these relics to their rightful places That should be the last of them. But what of your comrade's blade? Ah, uh, well. Would you indulge me in a moment of nostalgia? The man who wielded this sword suffered from shallow reserves of ether, and so he commissioned a weapon capable of channeling his energies in the most efficient manner. As you might imagine, the custom blade thus forged cost him a small fortune in coin. We would taunt him in his empty purse without mercy, of course, challenge him to become a mage worthy of such priceless still. His reply to our jeering comments would always stay with me. Even should I fail to do this still justice, it will remain long after I have perished. A kindred soul shall take up the sword, and then you will see my coin was wisely spent. His hopes for such a legacy died with the Crimson Duelist. I entombed the blade believing that no new mage would rise to claim it. But I was wrong. You two stand here as living proof that our efforts to revive red magic were not in vain.
"'Twas when I discovered the sword missing that I was put in mind again of my comrade's words, and I wonder if he did not orchestrate that this affair from beyond the grave, if only to remind me of his will. Bryce, you appear to have a distinct taste in weapons. This blade, I think, should belong to Arya. I think so, too. But, but I'm not even your student right now. I don't think I deserve to have it. I made a promise to you, did I not? That once you learn to harness your aether, I would take you under my tutelage once more. The way I see it, you have more than upheld your end of the bargain. Accept the sword, Arya. Be my apprentice, and help me usher in a few f new future for the Red. <laughs> I would have said this one, but I will be nice. You should take the sword. I will. If you will, if you would offer to accept me as your student once more, then let this be my answer. It is done. Let us present here, this day, swear a new oath, to fight for the common good with pure heart and unbending still. And so concludes our business here. But as much as I should like to accompany you back to Mordona, I feel my own pil pilgrimage must continue. This war with the Imperials has Alamigo teetering on the brink of uncertainty once more, and I must assume the situation is most taxing for you and your fellow scions. Thus, for the time being, shall I keep my blade loose in its sheath. I may be but one man, but I know that I shall remain vigilant against the Empire's machinations as I chart my course across the lands of Eorzea. I am sorry that I cannot yet devote myself to your lessons, Arya. The demands of the road are as such that I cannot take you with me and still hope to move as swiftly. Your oath takes precedence, of course. I'm excited just to know you'll be my mentor once more. Once again. Please, stay safe on your travels. I appreciate your understanding, and I will stop by to aid your progress in Revenant's Toll whenever circumstances permit. I take my leave, then. Fare you well, Bryce. When next we meet, I expect your scarlet hues shall be ever the more vivid. Shall we make our way back to Mordona, then? Yep, all the way back there. <laughs> How ironic, the sun was coming up just as I left.
so concerned with, with restoring my magics, but now I have a new goal. Learning to wield my new sword with perfect, perfect execution. With Shrun's instruction, I mean to become a red mage worthy of his comrade's weapon, and I wouldn't say no to any help from you either, Bryce. <laughs> Alright. And that is the end of that for right now. So until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.